all right I went and bought all the gear this is my random assortment of dog shit so I got a couple things here I got uh, some minion increased life and area of effect and then my flask don't apply to me so I mean no flask this whole build is gonna have no flask worst fucking belt I could have got probably um, if I do this again, I'm gonna create some rules, some structure. I'm gonna give myself an audible. One audible. Part of those rules are gonna be, uh, no sockets. So no cluster jewels. No, no jewels at all. Just to, you know, limit the available ability to just make a basic build that you don't really need your gear for. That does all the damages. But anyways, I got like two minion items. I got a low life item and an anti low life item. I can't leech when on low life, so I could do a non leeching build and just do a low life build on non leech because this is pretty strong while on low life. Uh, I went and bought uh, corrupted versions of most of this stuff. Got plus one to endurance there, uh, extra crit for my attacks, discipline increase. Cannot be poisoned. Discipline increase. Plus one to maximum resistance. One good thing about these sh shitty uniques that no one uses is uh, you can get some pretty good corruptions on them. There wasn't any good ones for this helmet. Well, no one responded. And this one wasn't corrupt. It was just cheap. And then I have uh, power charges and endurance charges. With the mace, I can go here, and I'm getting endurance charges on crit. And then here, I'm knocking back, which will give me power charges here. So I have unlimited power charges, unlimited endurance charges. So I could pop, like... No, I don't want to pop discharge. And in my head, I keep thinking cyclone, you know, because I like cyclone. But I think I'm going to do something other than cyclone. And I don't know if Trickster is the right choice. Like, I mean, there's a power charge here, so I can start Trickster to get this power charges. But uh, I don't have evasion. Oh, I do have evasion. But it's not a lot of evasion. And then evasion on the boots. And evasion. So I have evasion on all those parts. So I can get the extra su spell suppress. Because I have evasion on... Oh no, the gloves don't have evasion. God damn it. No spell suppress. And that plus 12 to spell suppress is real strong if you have evasion on all of those. So I have some minion shit. I have this. I've never used any self cursing. Uh, I have a rough understanding that you can self curse yourself with temporal chains. And it, I think, increases the Go buffs on you. Temporal chains, less effect, a curse, to blah blah blah, other cursed effects, other effects on cursed enemies expire 40% slower. So I can self-curse myself with temporal chains as a trickster and not be affected by temporal chains. So all my buffs will have more effect, but I don't know what buffs I'm going to be getting. I have this helmet does exert skills which exert have 40% chance to not count the attack and I think exert exert is given from war cries right Hail God slay. I've never done an exert build war cry forms a war cry taunt enemy exerting subsequent attacks Okay, so that'll exert all attacks, it sounds like. It doesn't have to be a slam. So I can use Cyclone, which I won't use. No Cyclone. Um, critical Strike Chance. Spell Damage also applies to attacks. Okay. Wait. Spell Damage applies to attacks. I have... 
I can't look at it from here. I gotta get a different window here. Alright. I have three characters. A duelist, a shadow, and an inquisitor. I have all the hybrid, none of the base. And the inquisitor has this. Battle mage. Gain added spell damage equal to your weapon. Added spell damage equal to weapon. God slayer. And then Spell damage to weapon increases and reductions spell damage to attacks. Wait, I think the other one's attacks to spells, and this is spells to attacks. Although I think these two buff each other. Higher attack damage added to spells. Spell damage added to attacks. Yeah, I think when I get battle mage from that, it'll buff it and they'll buff each other. So I could do a war cry build. And I think this will ex exert... Uh... Smite. So I can do a ranged smiter. Hit some smite, get fanaticism. Which will grant me 75% more cast speed. Reduce cost by 75%. Then I can find a good spell to use. I have chaos. I wonder if there's a good chaos spell. I've never really used any chaos spells. Uh, Contagion, no. Wither, probably not. Blight only have 20 layers of damage with very fast attack speed. Volcanic Burst. Lightning damage. Chaos. Explosions do lightning damage equal to 40% of corpse's life. Interesting. Forbidden right. Lobs, projectile, near enemies, location, extra projectiles towards enemies and around you. Bill deals chaos damage based on your life and energy shield. Okay, okay. I could do a bunch of fucking life stacking, a bunch of energy shield stacking. Despite my items not having any life. Or energy shield. I get 12% there. 69 from the boots, 40 from, oh man. That's rough. Deals 12% of your maximum life as chaos damage. But this reduces the cost. Uh, cast yourself, 70% more cast speed, 75% reduced cost. So I think it's going to reduce the cost of that life one for the Forbidden Right. So if it's Fanaticism, Forbidden might, Forbidden Right might be pretty good. Despair is the curse. Bane is a big old AoE. I don't think that's going to be good for attack speed. Soul Rend. Never seen Solar End. Let's uh let's pop it in. Take a look at how it do. Okay. I like you. Oh my fucking drip though. Look at this shit. Fucking Dome helmet. I got these little fucking, uh, I got black tights on. Little booties. This is a fire drip. That armor looks fantastic. 
obviously never used that armor before. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I kind of like that. Looked like it, it didn't have to hit him. It just had to get next to him to do the damage. Oh, that is pretty slick. And it's got very slow attack speed. Okay, I think this is it. Maybe I'll try Forbidden Ride as well, but I'm going to use this for the Battle Mage. And then... You obviously have to switch my character. I think I'll stop the video because I have to respec that character. And you guys don't want to see me respec. Use a bunch of fucking regrets. So I'll pause the video when I go to do that. But first I'm still going to continue to think about my build. Oh, yeah, I wanted to open this. Read this again. All this elemental damage is might go to waste. I'm thinking... Smite and Solrend? Wait. I have to attack, it looks like. Or attack damage for each non-instant spell you cast in 8 seconds up to 30%. So 30% more attack damage. Get Battle Mage. I've never done a fanaticism build. Seems like too much work. I would never do it as like a main build. That's too much clicking. Gain fanaticism for 4 seconds. And lose fanaticism. Once you raise maximum. Because it looks like I attack. Wait 4 seconds. Cast a bunch of spells for 4 seconds. Then attack for 4 seconds. Then I alternate between attacking. Obviously that would work so well with Cyclone. No, I'm going to use Cyclone now. So I path this way. And then elemental damage ignore crits. I don't think I'm going to be doing elemental damage. I think I'll convert... Phys uh, phys convert, uh, physical to chaos. And maybe I'll be doing split, so maybe it's worth it to go that route. I think I'll just do this route. I'll do con consecrated ground. Consecrated ground and fanaticism. And not do this ignore bullshit. I guess I could maybe use a spell that converts, like a anomalous spell that converts uh, chaos. Oh, I think I'll just use a smite's an attack. I can smite. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do smite as an attack. Chaos, uh, oh, soul rend as a spell. Smite, soul rend. Here we go. I'm gonna stop this video and move to my other character. Alright, I have switched to the Templar. I went and bought the skills I'm gonna be using. I already had the Smite, had to buy the Phantasmal Soul Rin. The Phantasmal does the increased damage with hits. And it only had an 18, but they were pricey, surprisingly. So 90% increased damage with hits. That seems like a good idea. I'm not going to be stacking damage over time. I already had this one. I'm going to put that in with the Battle Mage's Cry. And then this is going to be the main attack. Boom. Attack, attack, attack. Cast the spell. But I need decks to equip that. So let's take a look at this pathing. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Obviously, I don't need any of this uh, elemental damage shit. I mean, I guess elemental damage works. I'm using Smite, which has elemental damage. So I could still path through here. And I do need this all res. So I could still path that way. But I was kind of hoping to path this way. Because I have to hit this node here anyways. So I could path out this way. Then pop up this way. And then clear all of this out. Mm, that's a tough call, tough call. Uh, da -da. And then I go this way to get resistances here. And this extra life would help as well. Kind of swing up this way and then maybe 
go all the way over here, get some low life, because I'm gonna have a ton of regen, so I can low life. Get that. Then swing up, get the crit node. And just go up to the top. I think I'm just gonna go up to the top. Definitely not gonna wanna overload on this right here. So I'm gonna come up that way at minimum. I'll just leave it path this way for now. I wanna get rid of that. I don't really care about that node. I'm gonna want this regen for sure. I'm gonna want this right here. That's got some elemental resistances and I'm gonna need all of the elemental resistances I can get. That's got elemental resistance. I might wanna keep that. I'll keep it for now or fund it later. I want these. No, oh, no, not getting sockets. Uh, I think I want my core cries to be instant. So I'm gonna head down this way. Get some instant war cry action. Bam. War cries are instant. I want more speed. have a minimum power of 10. I might want to get through that to get the minimum power. Is there another war cry node over here? Oh, they moved it to over here. I'll hold off on that for now. Got the power charge. Swinging over this way. I'm going to want this. Right there. I'm going to want that right there. Path up in this bitch. Get this jazz here. Could get some damage over time. Definitely don't want that. Yeah, I think I'm kind of okay with it. Am I gonna have a good evasion? Yeah, I'm having some good evasion. I'll select those nodes. I'll get some ghost dance. I'll also get this. Is this armor? Armor and evasion? Yeah. I'll get this right here. Dex here. What other good dex nodes can I get? Oh, pathing into here would get me some good shit. It's the best way to get there. One, two, three, four. One, two. I'm already heading down this way, I think. So I'll just head down this way. I need to refund some shit. Ugh. Too much stuff I want. Let's refund this. And let's refund this middle one. since I need Dex. Could avoid all of this and go this way. Or this way. One, two, three. Get rid of two here. That's a tough call. Cause I could path over this way. This has got a lot of good stuff for me. Then just not path any through any of this. Don't get this. Don't get this. Don't get any of that shit. I could also just not have this extra power charge. I don't know how much that power charge is going to get me. One, two, three, four, five. I can just not do low life yeah I'm not gonna do low life low life will increase my spell damage but not my attack damage and since I'm hybrid I'm not gonna do any of this shit so 
so let's go this way. I thought I'd have enough to connect it. There we go, now I can rip on this way. And this will pump up my deck, so I have enough decks. I don't really think I need that physical crit, but I won't get that crit. I don't want to get into, I have to get into a chaos node. Don't want to do chaos over time, so I have to path up into this chaos node to penetrate. I think penetrate's probably going to be better than wither. Increase wither effect. I already got enough in increased chaos damage from the armor, I think. So I'll just do the penetration. I think the penetration will help more. Now, where am I gonna sacrifice at? Got two points left. One, two. I need three points total. You don't need increased damage per charge. Could path here and get rid of the reservation, but I don't know if I'm gonna need that just yet. Oh man, that's for fun ghost dance. Got the penetration. Let's refund this for now. Not sure I'm gonna have enough life regen to with staying because I have no health potions. I have no nothing. Okay, let's just uh, build it out with this way here. What's my resistance is at? Ugh. Ugh. Dog shit resistances. I want to. I'm gonna have to try to path into this shit here. What to get rid of? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. But I also get res there, so I kind of want to keep that. Get res here, but let's uh, get rid of that. Let's just get rid of this whole node over here. It's not very good. In fact, this whole pathway is kind of wasted. I wonder if I can... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No. Not really more efficient. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Kind of just the same, no matter how I path it. Unless I want to avoid getting this. In which case, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Save me like one fucking point, unless I just not get any of this stuff over here and get my decks from here. There's a dex point here. Tough decisions. Tough decisions. Cause this, this is just gross. This is a long line of ant that I don't need. Just to get some of this dex, which I do need. Is my dex at 200? How much dex do I need for this? 116. It's a lot of decks. I'm gonna refund all of this shit. Go pop more of these regrets. So I think I'm gonna need the resistances. I'm gonna need the life. More than I need all of this shit. If I could use potions, I'd probably go this path. I can't use potions. I mean, it's already saying I'm fine with Dex, as is. Well, I guess... Did any of this give... Oh, the boots gave me Dex. So as soon as I got the boots equipped, it pumped up my Dex a bunch. Alright. Now we got a lot of points to work with. Let us pump right into these resistances. Want that region, want that region. 
Also got some fucking decks here and ant here. I don't really care about the attack speed. Let's pump that. Getting this will give me resistances there, but I could also get chaos here and get the resistances. I think I'll come this way. Uh, um, what do I not like? I'm gonna be getting ignited, I think, so I'm gonna go uh, with ignite. And we will pump it up 12 here. My path. Over this way. Get 12 resistance there, plus some evasion. And I can come over this way. I think these give resistance 5 on each. Pump up this way. Might be a ways to go all the way over there. Oh, there's some Warcry nodes here. What do you do? Warcry speed. Cool down. Cool down and speed. Well, I need speed. I need cooldown. Cooldown. Increased area of effect. And it's 20 cooldown. And three nodes to get to the end instead of a bunch. So is Battle Cry Taunt? Yes, it does. It taunts. Guess I should see if uh, this works like I want it to. I can start there. Did I? Yeah, I already did. Just go do a quick demo. See what how this work out. Let's put that on that click. And war cry on the left click. I must have time to gather my will. Let's go to the aqueducts. Everyone's favorite bot farming location. Minimum. Oh, yeah. Those are triggering. See my fanaticism stacks. Purity will prevail. That was a little slower than I was expecting on the cast speed. Looks like it's going to work, though. I don't think there's very many people who play like me. Build up a build. Sell all the shit. I have to write down what I buy this stuff for, though. Because I try to sell it for exactly what I bought it for. So it's almost like a neutral transaction. want these people to look at my build. Try to put two and two together. They'd be like, why is he wearing the fucking... Diabell with the goddamn... Cherub chess piece. Fucking moron. Fucking idiot. So goddamn dumb. He's such a fucking dummy head. Okay. Oh, uh, let's, uh... Pop a purity of elements in here. I guess I won't be getting ignited because I'm going to run a purity of elements. None of these got blue sockets. Let's give this helmet some blue sockets. I'm going to want at least two blue sockets. No, let's go fuck it. I don't have. Oh, I don't have any of these. Jesus. I hate running out of fucking materials. I do so much, uh, 
build reconfiguring and run out of materials all the time. Pains me to take a divine. I just had to take a divine and fucking get fall orbs. Now I'm gonna do regrets. Now I gotta get a divine to get fucking chromatics. Gross. I must have all right. What to is my milk. resistances with that on? All right. I just need a little bit of cold. I'm stacked on resistances. That'll do it right here. And I can get that to be super tank. Could also get it here, I think. How much do I need for the cold? Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna need 80 ish. 78. Oh, yeah, I definitely should have. I'm gonna path this way. We're gonna find the fire. There we go. So I need some cold, and I need 10 cold. Other one only does 8. Actually, technically, I think I need 8 exactly, but I get 10 right here. So I'm just gonna swing up in this way. Bam. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Res is covered. Now. I need to fucking focus on some damage. Getting my staff damage here. My staff infection there. I'm gonna have endurance charges. I'm gonna have power charges. Got some crit here. Let me knock him back. Where do I get... Oh my god, my energy shield is... Dog garbage. Be running discipline, so. Dick. Dis. A plan. Dis. A plan. Let's just put it in the weapon for now. Dis. A plan. gives me 500 so I want to pump that up a little bit here 580 Ugh. Armor's pretty good. Evasion's not good at all. Should I run I Grace? I think I have to. to. My will. I definitely need more, more decks for Grace. No easy dex nodes. Pop that. I think it'll be more worth it to pop a dex node to get a higher level grace. I still can't do a 21. Do I have a 20 somewhere? Yeah, I can do a ball grace. That's hot. I can't do a ball grace. Kind of in this area. I could pop these. Only get plus five L on that. I also get a dex there. Tough call. I think I'll just color the shit correctly. You 
are corrupted. You are red, blue. You are green. You're red, blue. I think I can get you to get me a bunch of blues. Get at least one green socket. This one green socket. Fuck you, give me blue. Uh, yeah, I think that'll work. Not ideal. So let us put a uh, purity of elements. Grace. I am level four. Grace, purity of elements, and my discipline. I'm gonna run out of fucking mana, so I'm gonna put that a life node on that one. So we're gonna do battle mages cry somewhere else. I don't need just cry. Uh, what else am I putting in? What are my sockets gonna be? I think I might put the cry one in there. Cry buffer. Cool down. Yeah. And withering touch, maybe. What do you do again? Explosion still base damage equal to three percent of corpses life, one percent chance. I don't even know. Just throw via uh, Just throw fucking cruel control destruction in there. Oh no, I need a green. That makes it easy. Awaken, void, manipulation. Perfect. For you, let's do a withering touch. Let's switch it. Smite. Withering touch. Uh, let's do withering touch on the other spell. I want to do it on both. Soul rend. Withering touch. I don't know if chance to poison counts for spells. I can't remember. I don't think it does. Void. Definitely gonna need a precision as well. Uh, gross. So what's the discipline gonna be? Oh god, damn it! I'll put that on life then. Okay. Back to back to me, back to me. Bum 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 bum. Smite will have. I'll put some endurance charges on there. It's just gonna increase the damage. We definitely want to be fortified. Is this smite a strike? It is a strike. I could do behead. Get some bonuses. Life tap is going to go over there, but I got a better life tap. Probably going to want to try to squeeze Defiance Banner in here. Molten Shell. Power Charge on both. I think I got two. Yep, yeah, Power Charge on both. Da, da, da. I can't use multi-strike with smite, can I? I cannot. Okay, okay. Need you for the precision. Oh, 
bump, bump, it's all there. I need one more for that one. I need two more for that one. Weather and touch, already got it. I don't know which one. Probably that one's better. A crit chance might be kind of nice. Or crit damage would be even better, probably. Can't surge. Nah, I don't want it. Oh, low crit. No, I'm going to put life on there. I don't need to create, decrease the cost. We'll do crit damage here. What if over? What if this is a better idea? I'm gonna do that instead of the damage. I'll put the crit damage over here. And I'll just do crit chance. That's a lot of blue. That's a lot of red. Okay. Actually, let's just find a. Oh yeah, I need. Do chance. I need the life tap. Life tap. There. Boom. Boom. Makes it easy because then it just kind of works out. I don't have to fuck with shit. Oh, something's not working with it. Withering touch doesn't work, huh? And we'll swing withering touch over this way. Smite. Boom. 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 And let's just make it work with the blue. Make it work with the blue. Crit damage, why not? Yeah, crit damage, why not? Crit strike, why not? And then we need a green. We need a green. Chance to poison? Let's check the chance to poison on that. Yeah, it can't poison unless I say it can poison. And it can't poison. It's a projectile, but it only works with attacks. Ooh, chaining? Will it chain? But it per pierces through... It pierces through everything, so chaining... Oh, dumbass. Fucking idiot. You goddamn retard. I think I got it in here. Mm, but I don't think barrage works. Yeah, attack. Greater multiple projectiles. Oh, yeah, baby. That's the fucking build. That's the fucking build. Now I gotta squeeze in this. All this garbage. All this hot, 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 hot garbage. Let's see, we need a blue. We're gonna need a red. Fuck. A red and a green. Actually, I'll just put the molten shell here. Now, I'm gonna be casting auras with my left click, so I'm gonna want that on a cast when damage taken setup. It's the socket pressure. Socket fucking pressure. Well, I wouldn't really call it the socket pressure. The very difficult both. challenge that I have created for myself. Right, let's uh let's buy some chromatics. Fucking this this hurts. 
buying chromatics hurts right now. I just sold a void battery, so, you know. Actually, you know what? It's corrupted. I'm gonna buy the exotic chromatics with the divine orb. Tainted chromatics. I'll get it much faster. That guy's on the fucking move. Taint. Blue, blue, green, green. Nah. Red, green, 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 green. Nope. Blue, 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 blue. Ooh, that's a better replacement for that. Blue. Blue. Discipline. Well, that's not a better replacement because I need grace. Gross. Green, green, blue, no. Why are you giving me so many fucking reds? I know it's supposed to be like counterculture or whatever. Counter what I need. Come on now. That might be it. Boom. Boom. Let's try to get you to give me what I need as well. That might be right. I don't know, always got that fucking red. Always has that fucking red. I don't need the red. I'm still in this douche's party. That's mean. He's probably not a douche. He gave me my item. Stop giving me the red. is like a mandatory mandatory thing here blue blue green green pop a precision but I need a precision with the red this sucks fucking hate color and shit I should just- oh, I'm an idiot. Nope, never mind. And I don't I want that crit chance. I'm saying just buy a different one. <sighs> Come on. Stop it with the fucking reds. Alright. I'm gonna buy some regular chromatics. That did not work. Did not work. Did not work. It did not work it did not work it did not work no it didn't it really didn't work it fucking sucked it fucking sucked it's not even let me buy there they are oh hot fucking jesus Sixteen hundred. It's like people plan their sockets much better than I do. But he's just a bot, and he's not a lot gonna be there. But this guy might. Fifteen hundred. Come on, Riley. I didn't know Riley Reed played this game. Oh, don't pretend you don't know who that is. She's a real popular streamer. I must have time to gather my will.
Real popular streamer, Riley Reed. It's all she's known for, streaming. Hopefully it's not more than a fucking inventory's worth. Shit. I'm an idiot. I don't know what to do here. There we go. Greetings. Where's his stash? 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 Is this his stash? Stash. this many chromatics before. Should have did that in the first place. Chromatics for a long time. Do more of these dumb, dumb challenges. Alright. I keep kidding. I have a blue, blue, green, blue setup right here for you. Boom. 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 And boom. Let's get you set up. gym. Maxed out that one so I had to create a new one so we're gonna need a purity of elements, a awaken, the discipline, and then the grace. So three blue and one green. Three blue, three blue sockets. Great, fuck you. <laughs> there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Now let's take a look at what we got here. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Perfect. Now, we will need, that's all set up. Got that, I think I'm gonna do, do a cast with damage taken. I think that's all I needed. So that's gonna be three red and a green got armor. It's gonna keep giving me blues, so I don't know the best way to craft this. I think I'm gonna go just keep doing one green. At least 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 one green. 
Why are you giving me two greens? Fine. One green, one red. Where are you at? One green, one red. Oh, you dick. You dick. You dick. You dick. Dick, 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 dick. There we go. There we go. I got there. I got there. That was fucking pricey. Oh, got a text from the wifey. That was fucking pricey. I only let out a silent but deadly next to my face and I want to die. Ellie is our dog and she farted on my wife's face. I'm gonna have to kiss that face tonight. It's gonna smell like my dog's asshole. And y'all are like, oh, that's a bad thing. Oh, hell no. Dog's got a pretty little asshole. Pretty, pretty little asshole. I must have time to gather There we go. What is my hit chance with my smite? Yes, Cyclone would be better. And the chance to hit is still quite low. I got two points left. Go to there for the dex. I think one of these actually does a lot of accuracy. It's like a 28 accuracy there. Let's see if I can pop that on there. And then remove this. Ah, oh, doesn't like it. I uh, didn't like it. At minimum, I can do a level 21 graze now. I have too many buttons I'm pressing already. There's no way in hell I'm going to do a vol grace. 21 grace. Right there. Boom. Build is done. All right. I'm going to stop the video here so I can do a second video and just kind of paste it in there. Our build is done. Let's do what we did last time. Look at my socket. Look at my fucking flasks. They're so good. Let's start with the white map. Run out of white maps. How do I know if this is the right one? 26. 34. Yeah, that's the right one. 26, 34. I think that's like a common measurement for a lady. Could be wrong. Never measured a lady before. It's not typically... Oh, I have no movement skill. I just realized that. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Not getting enough endurance charges. I think I need to switch to crit chance. I also need to check my shock damage. See what I'm shocking for. Shock. 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 Oh, I'm getting 50% on these weaklings. I wonder if it holds the fanaticism until I start to cast. Let's take a look. Two fanaticism bonuses. Oh, it does not. I gotta start casting as soon as. Oh man, this is way, way too much of a fucking build build for me to play play. Way too much build for me to handle. I play dumb shit, not this. Maybe I'll just like alternate. Until I see that it's a casting fast. Because <laughs> having to look up there. Well, actually, let me zoom in. Let's see if I get any, like, uh, visual indicators. Uh, oh, sparking. Oh, I, there's a visual indicator. Great. Cast time, boys. Oh, that visual indicator is kind of hard to see. Oh, this is not a good sign. 
Not a good sign that that dude took so long to kill on a white map. Of course, it might be something better than greater multiple projectiles. But I didn't want to re socket that trash. Another rule to the random item challenge should be no POB. It'll make it pricey if you want to fucking respec. But then you gotta go off just your game knowledge. Like, what damage is gonna do what? You can't fucking verify that shit. Nothing. Not that, you know, this is gonna be a challenge anyone does but me. Felt like that was the way to go, but it was not. I'd take a little right of Rooney. I missed the whole fucking Oh my god, I cannot do this kind of a build. I can't fucking do it, man. It is so much. Two attacks. Watching a stack. I mean Cyclone. Should have just done Cyclone. Cyclone Shockwave. Can never go wrong with Cyclone Shockwave. Where's my thing? Oh. I must have time to gather my will. I could probably just count, maybe. One, two, three, four. No, I didn't get a stack. Yeah, I can't use greater multiple projectiles. I'm gonna have to use this as my single target. Good unique. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 buddy. Easy. Easy there, killer. What? This is... Knockback, endurance charge on a melee hit. I wonder if earthquake would be better. I kind of like the distance. a critical strike with the staff. Do you got critical strike chance there. What's my strike critical strike chance? 75 70. And uh when I have my power charges it's probably 100%. So hundred percent chance da, da, da. How am I getting power charges again? Oh yeah, it's over here. Ten percent chance. So I need ten attacks in a second. I want to spec into there if I can to increase the charge duration. Can I remove you? Yes, I can. Increase charge duration there. Now I'll be maintaining those endurance charges. I also could maybe fucking just get rid of some of all my resistances that I powered into. I'm rid of this whole fucking block probably because I got those endurance charges. And try to get some damage somewhere. Okay. Hey, God Slayer. What do we got? Barrage support does not work. Got toxins I'm not poisoning. No point in chaining. 
Can't impale. More damage over time. I don't want. I want to hit like the actual increase damage, not damage over time. Twenty percent increase projectile damage. Avoid manipulation. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't have to recolor it, ain't I? That's a good one. Could do without that. Not that one. Hey, God. I must have time to gather my will. The blue is the off color, isn't it? Go slam it with the triple blue. I got all them fucking chromatics. Three blue sockets. Two green again. Three blue sockets. Oh, there we go. There we go. We can make this work. What else do we got in here? Support. Right there, we can just increase the spell level. Beautiful. Bing, bing. Spell level. I wonder if this is going to be good, because I need a blue, though. Arcane Surge. I could put a Clarity in here. No, I'm out of sockets. I cannot put a Clarity in there. Concentrated effect. Oh, wait. No, that didn't increase the damage. Kind of want to be critting. Oh, cruelty. Put cruelty in there. Oh, it's fucking blue. God damn it. Uh, faster cast. There we go. Done. Alright. Let us move to yellow maps. I think I failed this challenge, if I'm being completely honest with myself. Can't have physical reflection. I'll just skip right to red one, then. Hate the fucking laboratory. Sure is great. The dumbest build I have ever built. This is the dumb. Okay, I'm, I'm not I'm lying. This is nowhere near the dumbest build I've ever built. My mana is spent. Have time to gather my will. Do you need more regen? I haven't paid attention to the exert. Okay, that's what they're like. I got whoa. 
Oh, buddy. I didn't e didn't even have time to see what happened there. Didn't even have time to see. Okay, I got two exerts up. Oh no, that's not the exert. Where am I, where am I getting my exerts? Is that the, no, that's the war cry. Oh, it's on the war cry. Gotcha. Four exerts up. Oh my god, this build is trash and so hard to run. I did it Inquisitor though. I don't think Trickster could have done this. It's almost like the Trickster class is fucking busting. Though those are buffs, aren't they? If I can become immune to temp chains. I can self-buff myself and increase my fanaticism length. quite a bit. I'm not sure shock is the right thing to do, but I think applying shocks with the still getting the 50 percent it's gonna increase the damage here. I'm trying to make it synergize. One of the things I like to do with these stupid fucking challenges is try to use the items as I wanted to. I can always just build a fucking cyclone shockwave build that's gonna be able to do it. To this had a bunch of fucking weird requirements like uh, not I being able to use flask so I had to get a bunch of regen. And uh, not being able to use, use low life because I wouldn't be able to leech, even though I'm not leeching anyway. So I could I could low life. I am quite the low life as well. So I try to get the synergies as best as possible. And I probably could have like maybe ran a poison concoction and just not used my weapon. I don't know how I feel about that. Kind of feels like I'm cheesing, cheesing the challenge. There might be a better chaos spell too. Oh, got it up, got it up, got it up. That's what she said. Got it up, got it up, got it up. Not very good damage. No, it is not. And that shock is not that great either. I've seen worse damage. I think my lowest price randoms was worse damage. This is pretty bad. Red map cleared. I 
build a full challenge out of this. I might have to do like a map clear contest. Like a, you have to do tier one, tier six, tier 11, tier 16. And then the fastest person to do that set of maps, maybe even like make the maps fixed. Nah, maps fix is boring. It'd be more interesting to get to pick your map to try to race through it. I don't know. It's a dumb challenge. I like this kind of idea. It would be so much better if you can get like a draft pool with it. Uh, what is gonna be a good map to run? I can Magic the Gathering, it'll like pop a hundred rares into a bucket. And then one player gets to pull a rare out of the bucket. And then another player gets to pull a rare out of the bucket. Then another player gets to pull a rare out of the bucket. And it goes around. So you want to try to like prioritize filling your slots with getting the best items. Yeah. That's a fucking, that's a, that's a goddamn golden idea. It really is. We'll do a race course. Race course. A white race course. Let's get rid of the shock. I'm not doing enough damage to shock. Get rid of overcharged. And let's see what kind of blue support I can have for this. Got plenty of crits. Da -da. Would do physical to lightning, but I'm already doing some physical to chaos. Concentrated effect. Make sure it's working. It's not. Concentrated effect is so weird. My mana is spent. And crit damage is obviously the one, but I don't have a high level crit damage. So I will just, uh, let's just swap them. Throw the crit damage over here and do another crit strike on this side. So I think I have two crit strikes. Do I not have two crit strikes or am I using one here? Uh... That's a bad combo too. It's not doing, it's only 40% of lightning damage converted to chaos and then... I fucking don't. Ugh. Alright. Oh, there it is. Just avoiding me. T16 race course with randomized gear, no flask, stupid helmet, stupid build. And kill white mobs. It's too late on the casting. Purity will prevail. I can also do it like a Diablo 3's challenge it, challenge league. To It'll give you the unique set pieces and then challenge it for someone to make the best build and then everyone in the PoE community fucking has to try to build the best build out of a bunch of random uniques. Spent. Projectiles would be nice. Added projectiles would be nice right about now. I 
Thank God for the fucking broken Inquisitor. Let's take a look at some of these defenses. Oh my god, my evasion is so trash for having a fucking 21 race on. Armor, my defense, my uh, physical damage mitigation's not so bad. Though that evasion is saving my ass. I missed the entire phase. I don't know if the hit count is better <laughs> or a uh, timer is better. Cause now you got the four seconds. As long as you survive long enough, I can't really follow the uh, the marker very well. The little glowing circle on your body. I practice a little bit. There's too much clutter for my old eyes. So I have to look at the icons on the top. Be kind of cool if you can drag those icons, just grab them, put them where you want them. I just have them on my fucking character right in the middle, right next to his feet or something, and I can see the goddamn icon. Very minor complaint. I mean, most people who play this game aren't old fucking grandpas. Actually, I might be wrong there. Did they just drop a four white socketed? Six white socket? I don't think I've seen that. I can just drop like that. I must have time to gather my will. I think this is uh, a lot of what the GGG like skill makers they like envision in their head. It just never works out in real life because you just can't get the damage up. So this is kind of a cool, interesting, unique build here. Doing lightning and chaos. Hit with some attacks and then uh, cast some spells. Probably kind of exactly what they had in mind for this kind of a setup. boss is gonna take some time to kill so I don't fucking find a random topic to talk about someone in the comments said I get a strike for saying retard and uh, I don't really placate the people who say don't say something that offends me if it's something that uh, they have no business being offended over I like the word retard I've known several retards in my life. I am a bit of a retard myself, and uh, you know, it's just a word. It has a, like a clear definition. Fire retardant is a word to retard something, is to like slow down its original function and process. So literally just saying, hey, let's alter the lexicon because of feelings. Sometimes that's okay. I can buy into the not saying the... Uh, N-word that offends the black people in America. I can I can buy into that. Even that's a little awkward because like black people in America are very different from actual black Africans. Very different culture. They might not be as offended or you know, bothered by it because they might have never been slaves or you know descendants of slaves. Not that that word really has. I guess it has a lot to do with slavery because I think the original definition of that word is like worthless slave I'm not I don't know that for a fact but uh, I think the banning of words similar to the banning of books it's okay to do to children in elementary school but our grown-ass adults should be able to say whatever the fuck they want including retard 
More retarded. More retarded. But that person's likely just doing me a favor. He doesn't want my channel to get banned. Or he's just, you know, projecting. Like, he wants to have authority over people. Get a little kick out of telling someone not to say a word. Like you have some kind of power in your life. Don't say that word and then they don't say it. And you're like, oh yeah, he did what I told him. I must have time to Getting his fucking jollies world. off. You never know someone's true character until you give them an ounce of authority and see how they handle it. One of the truest sayings is you never judge a man by how he treats his superiors. You judge a man by how he treats his inferiors or his subordinates. Another... I made a comment in one of my previous videos. It's all basically liberal white women that do all this dumb shit. They run up all these causes and then because men want to fuck them they don't uh they don't call them out on this bullshit. Latinx? That wasn't made by the Hispanic community. It's not like Mexicans are like oh we don't like being called uh you know Latinos or Latina because it's gendered. We need to change it to Latinx or Latinx. No. That was a liberal white woman dumb bullshit thing they came up with and no one's gonna tell them no because they want to get their dicks wet in a white vagina. Some bullshit. The same is true for Indian American Indians. Reason American Indian is a fucking word is because there's over 500 tribes of Indian. And before, we called them Indian, we called them by their tribe, Cherokee, Blackfoot, Apache, Navajo, all that jazz. But it got a little confusing when making legislation to cover 500 tribes. So they just branched all tribes into one word and called it Indian. And at the first, the Indians were pretty pissed about it, probably. I wasn't there, but history is full of uh, falsities and artificial narratives written by the victors so it's impossible to say exactly how they felt about it but today they're proud of their indian heritage most of them and calling them an indian is nothing you go to the indian reservation it's not an insult it's not like the n-word it's not a bad thing it's just what they're called like if white people were on a fucking reservation it would be the white people or caucasian reservation or whatever word they gave us white people when we moved there and then we, you know, got used to the word and was like, okay, yeah, that's what we're called now. And a lot of them was like, I'm Apache Indian. I say Apache because, you know, I was next to an Apache reservation where I grew up from. I knew quite a few Apache Indians. This was a long time ago before the term Native American was even a word without it even being curated, so I can't really say whether they were okay with the term. I'm sure they don't get offended by being called a uh, Native American, but they also don't get offended by calling an Indian. My will. Unless they're, some of them, they go to like these liberal colleges, which is basically all colleges. They'll probably get offended by it. I'm not gonna fight that guy. He's what my ass. I'm just gonna kill the boss. Be done with this challenge. But anyways. It's a liberal white woman. It's a problem. But I actually kind of, it sucks. I, I actually like the word Native American because Indian can refer to uh, people from India or Indian Americans. So it should either be Indian Americans or, you know, something along that line. Then you got the whole calling everyone Asian. If you're gonna get mad about something. Call about calling all Asians Asians. Asians, very different cultures. Chinese and Japanese, very different. I think they even lump in Indian as Asian, which is crazy. Cause Indian culture is completely different. Watch a fucking Indian movie, and then watch a Japanese movie, and then watch a Chinese movie. Completely different. I say movie just because you know that's like a representation of their culture a little bit. So when you look for like a place to live, you always kind of want to find where the uh, Asians live. 
where the white folk live because they're typically richer, have more wealth than every other demographic. So if you find where the white and Asian people live in terms of demographics, just find the highest percentages, you're gonna find the highest value of houses and the safest neighborhoods. It has nothing to do with their race, it has to do with their income level. Rich people have no need to steal. Some people do it for fun, chits and giggles, but they have very little need or reason to commit crimes, so that's why they're significantly safer. And it's just a numbers game. Tiger bombs create very competitive children. Those very competitive children go into a very competitive workforce, and they do quite well. And then they hire on some of their friends, and they move to similar neighborhoods. Those neighborhoods blow up in value. That's some historical racism too. Like redlining and shit. That doesn't affect us too much nowadays. But even with that redlining, uh uh, black people and Hispanic people on average made more than white people and Asian people we'd be saying hey let's find the black and Hispanic neighborhoods so we can move there because the property value is going to be higher and it's going to be lower crime I must have time to gather my will But I can't really have these honest conversations in this world no more without being called some type of ist or foe. You know, it's pretty much common sense. Anyone who thinks that crime is directly correlated to race is kind of an idiot. When it's far more likely to be correlated to uh, economic status. Economic status has some correlation to race, but that's just a bad corollary. Let me talk about fucking reparations. My mana is spent. I, for one, support reparations. Not out of anything like I think they need it, but uh, America did promise all the freed slaves land and a mule. I don't know what that attributes today. It's almost impossible to determine reparations, so I think the best way for them to do reparations is just to give a poverty index and then give it to all the poor people. And then on top of that, do a different one for uh, black people. Because if you give poor black people money, but you don't give poor white people money or poor Mexicans money, all of which, uh, or Asians, all of which have slavery in their history, maybe not quite to the same degree as American slaves did, but you know, everybody's got a little bit of slavery in their history for the most part. I mean, slaves comes from the term Slav, which is standing for Slavic, which is some of the whitest motherfuckers you'll ever see. But if they did, like, uh, pay all the poor people a little bit of cash, and then uh, throw a little extra on top, everyone would get a little bit of money, so there'd be less animosity towards each other. And uh, the world's fucked up because of the economic policies of the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Uh, government. So they're behind and they're only going to get more and more and more behind and giving them money ain't going to hurt anything. It's going to create more inflation and make everything more expensive. But that's already happening because we're printing money and giving it to Ukraine and everybody fucking else. So you might, if you're going to be spending billions and billions of dollars to throw it over Ukraine, might as well fix a historical injustice where you promised people money and did not deliver. So that'd be the only reason I'm for it. That's a fucking promise that was not delivered. All right. Challenge done. Rant over. And this, I could say this kind of shit because my name's hidden and I have to go back through and edit out my name that I fucking accidentally said. But if I had my name out there and I was saying this kind of shit, uh, well, there's some crazy motherfuckers out there that try to get me fired from my high paying job. And I don't want that. But at the same time, I kind of want to build this content. Okay, let me see. This build, could I have done better? Without a doubt, without a doubt, this wasn't the best I could have did. I think trying to utilize the chaos damage from this body armor and uh, the charges 
The charges were probably good. That was probably the right choice. But trying to utilize this chaos damage from this chest piece kind of put a damper on everything. So I think uh, trying to split and do this uh, battle rate uh, war cry thing, probably not the best. And then also the fact I'm doing Voltanic Burst with uh, Awakened Void Manipulation Support. I probably could have done something else there. I was just doing this because I thought it would help with clear for white mobs. You put this little thing on them and they blow up for part of their life. Blowing up for part of your life is always a good thing. I also probably, I mean I could POB it. I'll post the POB in the end of this video just for the fun and the giggles of it. But the POB... You'll be able to fucking identify better items for sure. For sure. Uh, but I like Phantasmal Solarin. That's kind of cool. They increase the damage with the hits. That's a pretty big uh, chaos hit. Uh, I, I do like Solarin. I, I would be interested in doing a Solarin build. Pretty interesting. I've never used this skill before. I've also never used the Exerts or Warcries. I've definitely used Smite. I probably, guess I probably should have done the one, the one that slams the ground and shoots the arrows everywhere and then you blow them up. Uh, I forget the name of it. It was hey, real popular that? for a while and it was like the most popular slam skill. I think it was even the strongest. I guess that, Earth Shatter. There you go. I think Earth Shatter was one of the strongest ones that existed for a while. I could have done Earth Shatter instead of Smite. But I kind of like the idea of doing electric damage, and I'm already kind of doing electric damage and shocking, and I wanted to shock to do more damage with the soul rend, which did kind of work, especially in the earlier maps. I was doing 50 shock, and then the soul rend was ripping their dicks off and sucking them. But uh, beyond that, the roll was pretty shitty. I started the roll with the void battery and a la hoop, but I couldn't get my copy and paste to work. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I think I was hitting copy, and then I would type. And it would clear my my copy and paste so i didn't include those a uh, fucking void battery and a la hoop is just golden your build is going to be amazing no matter what you do with the void battery and a la hoop uh this was pretty awful to be honest i think uh the one of the main reasons i was able to do as well as i did which wasn't well is uh getting all the corruptions cannot be poisoned here pretty good for survivability this motherfucker is corrupted with dex and and attack speed that a lot that added some bonus for the fact that uh i wasn't on low life and getting the biggest benefit from this uh, this is a pretty lucky roll probably because kind of pigeon holds you into chaos but it's a really good chess piece and more than that must have time to look at this fucking them. drip and the inquisitor such a fucking badass he's like puts his hand on his fucking heart uh looks up to god he's like oh yeah Look at the bell on my head. Fucking Templar is a fucking badass. He's got that fucking pose. Uh, pose like a statue. Fucking bad motherfucker. He's got his fucking legs on. He's got little sockies. He's wearing pants though. I mean, how dare he wear pants? Look at his fucking character name. I reject all of the pants. And he's not rejecting these pants. That come with this body armor. Yeah, uh, and this right here, the Discipline has 20% increased aura effect, Discipline has 19% increased aura effect, I mean, that really pumps up, let's take a look at how much it pumps it up, it gives me a whole nother fucking 200 energy shield, almost. So that's a pretty good pump up and given that my regen applies to my energy shield and life that was allowing me i think only died twice and mostly because i was just fucking talking and dicking around uh, survivability seems to be pretty easy with this kind of a challenge the hard part is damage so if, when i do this again if i do i'm gonna have to focus on the damage and obviously this won't get popular because i'm not popular but if this kind of thing got popular I'd like to contact the people that ran that website where I stripped all the uniques out of and see if, you know, I can work with them to build a random loot generator where you just hit a button and it'll randomly generate you weapons, armor, helmet, rings, all, all the stuff you need. And it'll start with the weapon roll and it'll roll either one handed or two handed. And then if it rolls a one handed, it'll roll another weapon roll, excluding all the, the two handed weapons. And then, uh, you know, just kind of give you random shit. So then you can do a fucking one-click random 
loot generator. It'd be interesting. And if they turned into like an official challenge, like a random loot challenge, I don't know how the fuck they'd do that. They can uh, run it through either that website or through GGG. And then you hit click a button and it gives you your random loot and then it locks you out from doing it again. So like you have the Zazarian challenge, the gauntlet. It'd be like a fucking random loot challenge. Maybe have it so when you hit level 70, it disables all equipment except for that loot and then you get the loot in like a box. So you open up the box and it gives you all the randomly selected loot and from level 70 on you have to use uh, just that loot. And then you fucking compete. I think that is a very fucking interesting idea. Uh, but, but that's me. Um, there's different types of people in this world and I've never met the hype. I don't like saying type A personality because it's kind of bullshit. But uh, there are some people that are very oriented towards like min maxing and the entire objective is to get the absolute most amount of damage, get the absolute most amount of loot and be the absolute most amount of efficiency. And they're treating it like it's some kind of competition or like their livelihood or their job. I've never met someone who's like that. But I finally met someone who was like that a couple years ago. Asian dude who worked at Amazon. I like to go shooting. I like to shoot my guns. I like to shoot my guns because they're loud. They can blow shit up. It's kind of fun. I'm alright at shooting. But this guy started shooting and he sucked dog shit at shooting. He's actually kind of afraid of the gun because, you know, he comes from a culture that doesn't really have guns. He wasn't part of an Asian culture. He was from Australia. And he banned all their guns because they're crazy motherfuckers down under. You think Australia, you think, you know, Crocodile Dundee call that and I think some kind of badass is nah they're all fucking ninnies well in the like four major cities they're all ninnies maybe in the countryside they're not as ninny but he comes here and he is dog shit at shooting but he doesn't I don't, I don't think he had fun shooting once he doesn't do it because it's fun he did it as if it was a game or a sport he did it become the best shooter he could be he treated it like a competition and he kept going to like different challenges, steel challenge. He took training and uh, he, I, I swear I never saw him smile while shooting. He was doing it like, like he was min maxing his own character build as a person. And he did that with like all the stuff he did, but I never saw him having fun. It was like a task, a fucking job. And then he was that way with everything. And it was super weird. And, uh, I mean, I still liked him. We got along, but he was just hyper that kind of person. And I'm pretty much the exact opposite. Like, I, the reason I'll be shooting, I was like, I wonder what it's like to shoot a fucking pumpkin full of uh, mayonnaise with a 12 gauge slug. I wonder what that's going to look like. So I'll fucking pump that fucking mayonnaise in that pumpkin and hit it with a slug and see what the fuck happened. Um, and he, he would. I, w I would say something like, yeah, let's just go to the middle of nowhere and shoot instead of the gun range because the gun range has got all these fucking rules. It's super annoying. And he's, he never want He's like, no, nah, I want to go to the gun range, shoot the targets. I was like, don't you want to go to the fucking middle of nowhere and shoot fucking beer cans or some shit? And he's like, ah. So I don't know. That's just kind of weird. So I don't think those type of people would enjoy this kind of a challenge at all I must have because time to gather my will. the only way those people would enjoy challenges if everybody got the exact same loot and they can compete with like the same set of loot which is also a pretty interesting idea like once a week have a specific randomly generated loot and you can join a fucking league that's just this random loot league and you got to compete in that league but anyways i have wasted enough of everybody's time i'm gonna go cook some trout and dr pepper